All right, so another way that you can set up for shoulder extension and shoulder internal rotation room is you can hold a bar or you can hold a rack. I'm gonna use a rack. So what you're doing is you're pushing the shoulder blades back, but more importantly, you're driving the humeral heads of your upper arm into the sockets better. And then as you lean forward, you can grab the rack and then you're going to lean forward and open up the chest. This allows for a really good stretch and a good positioning of the upper arm, allowing for good shoulder extension. And the next step will be to lower your body. One thing I will say here to be careful with, depending on kind of what your issues are, the elbow can give you some problems in this position, especially if you're too wide. Now this stretch can be easily done without the band, as before, and you're just gonna lean in to open up that posture and chest, and you'll get a very similar effect. Then you can kind of lower the body. If you're seated on a bench, that would be even better. Again, think about this position for a second. It being on your back here, putting my shoulder blades back. Now if I bring my arms back, think about this. This position right here, what's this look like? It doesn't look like anything special, but if I bend my elbows, I'm not gonna move my upper arm. Now pay attention. What is that? That's the bottom of the bench press, right? That's what we're trying to get better at. We're trying to improve that position so that way if we stretch this out, what we're doing is we're improving this position in the bench. Now, you can see where the bar will end up just below my chest or right on my nipple line, right? So I can be gripping in wider, closer, and essentially this will give me more room in the shoulder. Now think about this, people who have wrist problems in their in their bench press when they lift, or even elbow problems, has stems from not having good internal and external rotation of the shoulder, which comes from not being able to have good shoulder extension. Again, remember, this is shoulder extension, being in this position here, and you're not gonna be able to improve that unless you work on it. Typically, one person will have a tighter side than another, and you're trying to help improve those positions, so that way, when you get there to the bottom, you have enough mechanical leverage from your, not just from your joints and allowing your muscles to contract the muscles, ideally to create force to press. And that way you're able to exert ideal force using your full chest and not having to rely by losing position in your shoulder.